If you want to craft something in Elden Ring, you need a cookbook with a recipe inside. One type of cookbook you could come across is the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. There are 24 of these books scattered around the lands between. And because I love giving myself way too much work to do, I'm going to help you find every single one of them. I'm Jamie Latour, and this is where to find every Nomadic Warriors Cookbook in Elden Ring. The first two Nomadic Warriors cookbooks are pretty hard to miss as they're sold by Calais at the Church of Ella near the beginning of the game. Calais also sells the crafting kit, so you might as well pick up these two cookbooks while you're shopping. Cookbook 1 will give you the recipes for the Bone Arrow, the Bone Arrow Fletched, and the Bone Bolt, while Cookbook 2 has recipes for the Glowstone, Invigorating Cured Meat, and Invigorating White Cured Meat. Cookbook 3 is also sold by a nomadic merchant over by the Saints Bridge site of Grace. Just head across the bridge, we'll leave the pumpkin man alone, he seems busy. And this musical merchant will have Book 3 in stock. This one lets you craft pickled turtlenecks and poison bone arrows, fletched arrows, and bolts. Cookbook number four is found in East Limgrave at this spot close to the Minor Erd Tree on the map. It's not too far from where you could pick up the map fragment for this region, and it's very close to this bear. Now, normally, whenever I've grabbed this cookbook with all of my other characters, I was able to get it without the bear noticing, but this time, he very much noticed. So, run like hell if it sees you. This book has recipes for the fetid and roped fetid pots. Cookbook 5 is sold by a merchant in East Limgrave, northwest of Fort Height. Just head on over and buy it from him to get the recipe for the Beast Allure Pot. Speaking of Fort Height, Cookbook 6 is located within Kenneth Height's sad little castle. Head inside the fort and kill either the soldiers or the demi-humans who are wandering around inside. Then in this room on the lower level is where you can find the cookbook on this corpse. This one lets you craft blood grease, drawstring blood grease, and blood bone arrows, fletched arrows, and bolts. You got a whole lot of blood stuff in this one. Cookbook 7 is located at the end of this broken bridge in Limgrave, which is close to Stormvell Castle. Ride to the end of this bridge, and it will be on this corpse. This one gives you the crafting recipes for staunching bullaces, soft cotton, and rainbow stone arrows. Cookbook 8 is located within the Tombs Ward Cave on the Weeping Peninsula. Follow the path that I am currently taking on your screen right now, which will have you head right into this initial area down here, and some rats will show up that you'll have to kill, and then there will be a big mama rat at the end. Then just pick up the book off of this corpse to get the recipe for poison grease and drawstring poison grease. Cookbook 9 is within the Tombs Ward Catacombs on the Weeping Peninsula. Once you're in here, you'll need to use a stone sword key on this statue to get rid of the fog wall in front of this chamber. Then head inside and fight some skeletons, and then you can pick up the cookbook that's on this corpse. With that, you can craft the Rancor Pot. To get Cookbook 10, you need to head inside Stormville Castle. Warp to the Rampart Tower site of Grace, and then if you go over here, you should be able to jump over this ledge, um, mm -hmm. well, okay, let's try that again. Okay, once again, run and jump over this ledge, and you should land on these rooftops over here, and then what we're gonna want to do is just follow the route that I'm taking right now. Yep, and then we're just gonna jump over this ledge and land right over here. And as you go around this corner, you'll see those two guys right there, but you can just run right past them. They shouldn't notice you. And then head across this rickety bridge, and then there'll be a couple of guys you'll have to take out. And then over here on this corpse is where you'll find cookbook number 10, which has the recipe for Stormwing Bone Arrows. Cookbook 11 is nice and easy. It's sold by the Nomadic Merchant near the Lyurnia Lakeshore site of Grace. Just walk on over, exchange some pleasantries, and buy the book to get recipes for the Crystal Dart, Spellproof Dried Liver, and Shatter Shard Arrow. Cookbook 12 is at the Rose Church in Lyurnia. This is where you can usually find Vare out front, and inside the church, you'll fight one of these sanguine noble jerks. The book will be on this corpse inside and has the recipe for the Cursed Blood Pot. Cookbook Lucky 13 is sold by a merchant near the Bellum Church in Northern Lyurnia. 
Just head through the big hole in the church and ride down this hill to find the merchant to do some shopping. This book will let you craft bone great arrows, bone great arrows fletched, and bone ballista bolts. Cookbook 14 is inside the Smoldering Church, which is pretty much on the border of East Limgrave and Kaled. You'll need to get by an NPC invader named Anastasia, the Tarnished Eater. That's a pretty awesome name. And once you're inside, you can find the cookbook on one of these dead guys. This book's got recipes for poison pots, roped poison pots, and poison bone darts. Cookbook 15 is sold by this merchant in Kaled, who is found a little southwest from the southern Aeonia Swamp Bank site of Grace. Head over to this gentleman and buy the book to learn the recipes for Rot Bone Arrows, Rot Bone Arrows Fletched, and Rot Bone Bolts. To get to the 16th cookbook, we're going to need to go underground to the Ansel River region. Once you've gotten past all of the ants and the claymen, you'll reach a point where you'll find this malformed star enemy who will start throwing rocks at you. After you get behind or deal with the malformed star in these ruins, you'll find a hermit merchant. I swear these guys keep choosing worse and worse spots for their shops. Buy cookbook 16 from this lonely guy to get the recipes for thaw frost and stimulating bolluses. Cookbooks 17 and 18 are both sold by the well-hidden merchant in the Soafra River region. To get there, warp to the Warshipper's Wood site of Grace, and you're going to want to head up that wooden structure over there. I've covered this spot before because this is also who you could buy one of those larval tears as well. Take out the spectral horn guys and then just follow me up along this way to find another merchant who likely doesn't get a whole lot of customers. Buy cookbook 17 and 18 from them to get the recipes for soap, oil pots, and roped oil pots from 17, and dapple cured and white cured meat from 18. Cookbook 19 is in the Altis Plateau in these ruins located very close to the minor ur tree here on the map. This area sucks because there's a lot of these annoying worm face guys who spit death at you. One such wormy boy will be in these ruins, so take care of him. You'll find Cookbook 19 right here, which has recipes for sweet raisins and warming stones. Cookbook 20 is another one sold by a merchant, but this guy is in a rather obscure spot in Mount Gelmir. Warp to the first Mount Gelmir campsite, Site of Grace. Then we're going to need to ride through this camp of Lindell soldiers who are just eating people, then go past this pumpkin man, and keep on riding across here until you eventually find this rope ladder. You're going to want to climb that. And then once you're at the top, make a left to find another rope ladder. Climb up that, and there's our merchant. Buy cookbook 20 from him to get the recipe for volcano and roped volcano pots. Now to find cookbook 21, you need to join Volcano Manor and get the drawing room key. Then open the first door on the right down the hallway. Roll or touch the wall that's in front of this corpse to reveal a secret path full of snails. As you head forward, there will be stairs leading down, but instead of going down there, head to the left to find another tunnel full of more snails. At the end of that will be cookbook 21, which will allow you to craft the alluring pot. Cookbook number 22 is located within the Lake of Rot. Oh, joy. You're going to want to head towards this spot on the map. You'll find some ruins with a chest inside containing our precious cookbook. This one will let you craft rot pots, rot pots, that's fun to say, rot grease, and drawstring rot grease. To get cookbook 23, you need to reach the Consecrated Snowfield. Not too far from the Consecrated Snowfield site of Grace, head to this spot that I've marked on the map. You'll find the cookbook on this corpse, and it'll give you the recipe for frozen raisins and clarifying cured and white cured meat. The 24th and thankfully final cookbook is located in the Mogwin Palace region in that bloody lake at around this spot on the map. Ride on over to the bloody lake and watch out because there is a big scary bloody bird around here that will probably kill you if it sees you. You'll find this last book on this corpse hanging over this cliff. And now you can craft swarm pots and roped fly pots. 
And there you go, that's every single Nomadic Warriors cookbook in Elden Ring. So now, you can craft a whole lot of crap. Including rot pots. Seriously, that's just, that might be my favorite combo of words ever. Just fun to say. For more Elden Ring news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.